Hello everybody, Rob here. Welcome to another investment video. Been far, far uh, in between um, since the last video, mainly because obviously I had to liquidate a large chunk of stuff for a whole bunch of different reasons. Um, most of them personal. Won't get into it. Um, but what I was going to do is show you kind of what's going on. Uh, new update. Planning to maybe do about one of these a month, maybe. Again, we'll see. But uh, yeah, so here we are. I was able to scrounge out not having to liquidate everything. Um, lucky enough that way I didn't do you know I didn't have to kind of rebuild from scratch so to speak but here we are so we're sitting about 2900 in total originally uh, infested uh, sold like I said a lot and started to kind of reinvest and stuff so we still have the uh, dividend 15 split core growth split uh, um, the select 15 which is basically the same thing as this one just it's the select uh, select grocery select office timber creek financial is a new one diversified royalties a new one uh, dividend growth split corporation this one right here brand new one as well uh roger sugar classic still bunch of iShares stuff um another um financial 15 split corporation ffn um here's another one ftn same companies just different uh, portfolio stuff that they own royal bank scotia bank george weston's our big, big food company here in canada uh, maple leaf foods another big canada uh, food company metro well, it's a bunch of grocery stores, Pizza Pizza. Not the best pizza company, but a very good track record, especially because they own the largest pizza company in Canada. Actually, the two of them, Pizza Pizza and Pizza 73, I think it's called, or 76, at West. Loblaws, uh, Alimentation, Kush Tart. This company here owns a bunch of convenience stores in Canada. Like, if you ever seen a Caps, if you live in Canada and you see a uh, Circle K, uh, Max Milk, um trying to remember what the logo is it's all white it's got like a, almost like an owl um it's them the old beckers um beckers milk is used to be is them um pretty much i think it's 80 80 percent of convenience stores if it's not a privately run one it's run and owned by these guys um but yeah so then you got west for, for uh, timber superior plus propane uh, i used to work for them uh, Life Bank Split Corporation and then Newport Exploration. So a lot of investments on the bright side Nothing's down for me too much. Um, yeah, I'm losing a dollar or so in Metro. That's no big deal. Only got two stocks in them anyways Ugh, I'm sorry about that uh, 13 bucks on West Fridge for Timber. That to me is not a big deal. This is a timber company It is down because of what's going on right now in the timber industry and that company specifically where they're actually having issues getting timber to market because of COVID, so that'll go up. It's a very good company with a very good record, and I'm very, very confident, especially because the financials on that company are, are, are pretty good. And then last but not least, Newport Exploration. Uh, recently, they had to downgrade some of their um, oil uh, field uh, explorations that they did out near um, I think it's, uh, New Zealand, Australia, where they had to basically cut the numbers in half, unfortunately. But all in all, pretty good. Um, you can see which they pay monthly or quarterly the percentages right now the big ones are at the current stock price that's the key here um, at the current stock price of 676 my highest pay, or this is actually my second highest uh no actually my third highest my third highest now um is dividend split corporation dgs it's sitting at 17 and three quarters percent which is pretty good my second highest is currently the American uh, North American Financial 15 Split Corporation, or FFN. Um, at the current stock price, which is different than the price that my stocks I purchased at, uh, what, $7.64, is currently sitting at 17.82%. Almost uh, 18%, which is pretty good. The ones I have, the stocks I have, that's actually 18.4, uh, I think it is. Uh, it's what the price I bought them at, at average because this is your average but i bought them multiple times um this thing just keeps going up and up and up as you can see over the last three months it's almost doubled in price actually like at that one point i was buying these stocks at four bucks a shot it's pretty good um and then last but not least newport exploration it pays 18 percent or uh roughly one and a half percent per month uh overall you can see how much you make before and after taxes um, since I'm investing from a TFSA or tax-free savings account here in Ontario, 
I don't pay taxes on these things per month. So we're making around 24 bucks a month. It's not bad. Uh, that's now, and that's an estimate. It's not a guarantee number. Just because it works on the averages and stuff like that. Um, hmm. I'm so sorry. But yeah, so right now we're looking at, um, this month isn't even done yet, and we're sitting already at $19.55 in dividends payout. Um, I'm sitting at the 27th now, which means, um, yeah, 31st, usually the last day of the month. So this coming Monday is when a lot of my other dividends are going to pay out. So pretty much everything that hasn't paid out yet, that's not a, that I actually will. Um, as long as it's not a quarterly stock. A couple of these I'm not going to get pays out until later on down the road. Mostly because I bought them in the middle of the the, you know, the three month cycle. Um, overall, we're looking pretty good. We've made almost forty dollars since January on these specific stocks. You notice zeros here and there because I didn't own some of these stocks at certain times. Um, I had to go back and change my list and all that stuff. So <laughs> there's that. Um, got our so far percentages of rate and returns. So right now we're looking at a, in just in dividends, about a 2% um, return rate on our dividends in regards to our overall um, prices and stuff. When I actually look at, we're gonna bring this screen over and I'm gonna log into my Simply Wall Street account here. Oh, I don't know my password, is that my password? Yeah, I thought so. Um, what if I deleted that? Does that work? Oof. Yeah, moment where you don't remember your password. But I got my phone. New phone. I actually bought myself the iPhone 12. My 6 was pretty much not charging anymore for me. So, kind of good news, bad news thing. Um, here we go. Well, simple. We're simply Wall Street, sorry. We're going to look up our portfolio here real quick with 25 holdings. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. So, so far right now in capital gains, um, since January, we're looking at a 5.71 returns in capital gains. So it's $170 in capital gains. Um, overall dividends are paid at $39.09. There's a little bit of discrepancy here, but we'll get into that. Uh, we won't get into that, but there's a couple stocks that I had that I sold that they count on here. And last but not least, we have an overall return. So our overall rate of return is the $170.53 capital gains plus the $39.09 that our stocks have paid to us. We're sitting at 7.01% or a $209.62 return on our investment so far, which is pretty good. The fact that it's only May. Um, kind of working on things a little bit to see what's going on. Uh, we'll see what, uh, what other shenanigans we can get into. Um, also in regards to what I'm now using for my stock. So I'm no longer using my Scotiabank or Scotia McLeod, um, account. Um, reason for this is simple. There's that $9 and 99 cent charge that I get every time I invest. And I didn't like it. So I moved to all simple. So right now it shows me, hey, this is your personal balance. You know, so that's a little higher than that because this isn't updated yet. Uh, but yeah, so it'll show, here's your personal balance. Here's how much you made in the day overall for just the stock value. So today, overall, we made $10.53 on our values on our stocks. I like how I can break it down to the week. So for the week, we're up 46 bucks. For the month, we're up $110. And I've only been using it for three months, which is basically the reset date. And we're up $126 since we actually um, did. So we're up 4%. You can see that nice steady line going up. Um, overall, stocks-wise, this is actually dividend payments that I haven't reinvested yet. I'm gonna wait for the next round to come in. But it shows how much you've made how much you've lost. Um, I think this one is one of the ones I'm going to get rid of only because the only reason why this, some of these are down is because of the $9.99 um, charge that Scotiabank made. So what I've done is I've actually over here gone in and removed 
that $9.99. So some of these numbers won't actually equal it the same. So for example, if I look at, I'm trying to think of the stock that I had, um, Roger Sugar. So it says I have nine shares at $51.03. In actuality, it's nine shares at 51.65 with my deduction for my dividends and all that stuff. But overall, 51.03. So that amount is correct. But the amount originated, and I go to here, I did not include the, uh, or I removed the um, $9.99 fee that Scotia Bank charged me. So this here, these numbers here will not jive with my Wealth Simple numbers, which are the numbers that, to the best of knowledge of Wealth Simple, is what they are because that's what Scotia told them. My stocks were worth versus how much the current value is of that stock. Even though that's not correct because then they include that $9.99 every time you buy and sell a share in that amount. So they knock down or inflate, sorry, your costs by $9.99 for a minimum of every stock. Uh, a couple of them will be exact because they didn't, they don't charge for them, but uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, I'm, I'm liking well simple actually. The information is a lot easier readable. Uh, my main issues with them are you can only trade stocks that have a certain trading cap for the day, so they have to be a certain amount of activation or uh, activity around the stocks for them to be traded not a fan of that um there's a couple stocks that basically i want to buy and sell like ds here the dividend split 15 core the one that gives us a 9.4 percent dividend i can't buy these through wealth simple because not enough people are buying or selling um, which is a shame it's like well if you don't let me do it then the numbers won't get up like the other day, I wanted to buy two hundred dollars worth of this shop of this stock, and I couldn't do it. It wouldn't let me. Um, it was like, nope, sorry, can't. Um, this stock has not traded enough. It's 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 uh, its volume does not meet our standards. And it's like, well, if you don't let me trade in it, then it won't get the like. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately, I haven't been able to buy or sell that one yet, and it keeps going up though. So. I'm not too concerned. But yeah, overall, that's the major issue I have. That's the the, the, the major issue I have with it. Um, the 50 minute la the lag for the first 50 minutes every day of the stock market opening is my other one, where it takes 15 minutes for them to start giving you real time data after the markets have opened, which kind of sucks. Um, you can buy or sell a stock at the estimated price um it won't give you a real-time price or at least won't do that for me for the first 50 minutes of uh, the trading day so i can't usually usually by 10 o'clock i've got a good feel of how the day is going to go um if not by 11 or 12 um usually by lunch i'll know if it's a good day or a bad day um now with well simple it push it gets pushed back basically an, uh, like at least an hour or so because i'm i'm not able to check I, I know i can't check that early so ugh. but yeah so quick little uh update here in regards to uh the investments they're growing we're getting there we'll see what happens thanks for watching if you have any questions or anything like that leave them down below i'll see what i can do to answer them but uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.